welcome to the fountain midday prayer Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm going to get started. Welcome to Midday Prayer. So I was um, <clears throat> asking God what he wanted me to talk about today. And I saw a few videos today um, dealing with priorities, consistency, um, and just moving forward in God. And so I was like, okay, well, I need to talk about priorities today. Um, so with COVID and everything that's happening, things are opening up now. We're not going to have that stillness time that we had over the last year or so. Some people, their lives never stopped. They never stopped working. Um, they didn't have a chance to rest. They didn't have a chance to um, reassimilate their lives, you know, or get their priorities. Good afternoon, Leah. Um, so now that the world is opening back up for those who had the opportunity to rest, for those who had the opportunity to um, recalibrate their lives and put things in order and really concentrate, you know, on what they wanted to do or what God was leading them to do. Things are opening up now, so people's lives are going to become busier. Um, we don't want to go back to the way things were um, because we needed to learn lessons in that season. We needed to slow down. We needed to, you know, concentrate on God and concentrate on our relationships with Him and concentrate on being intentional with the time that we spent with Him. Good afternoon, Barry. And how we set up our priorities according to the word of God and according to how God um, wants to lead our lives. <clears throat> so I hope that during that time, good afternoon, uh, Minister Valerie. So I really hope that during the time that we had during the pandemic, that we took a moment to really um, reprioritize, that we took a moment to be intentional, that we took moments to be intentional <clears throat> um, with our lives and with every day, from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, it can it can become really easy for our priorities to get out of whack. So I want to ask the question, are you stewarding well? Are you stewarding the things that God has given um, to you for you to be responsible for? Are you stewarding, stewarding those things well? When it comes to finances, are we stewarding our finances well? Are we givers? Are we consistent givers, not just in money, but in our time and in our resources, um, in our words? So we need to be good stewards of those things as well. Are we stewarding our time well? Do the hours of the day have assignments to them? Or are we just living with no aim, no goals? So we need to steward our time well as well. Um, and then our health. I just saw a video of a sister. I've known her for many years and um, she struggled with her health, but she came on to celebrate, you know, that she had been consistent in taking care of herself. So are we stewarding self-care? Are we stewarding paying attention to our health? My mom always says your body speaks. If something is going on in your body, generally your body will tell you. <laughs> by exhaustion, um, by not feeling well, headaches, etc. Our bodies speak to us. So are we listening? Are we using wisdom? Are we paying attention to our health? So those are those are priorities that we have in life that we have to make sure are in good order. And so there were um, three scriptures that came to mind when I was thinking about priorities in the way that, you know, God wants us to live our lives. So the first one is Psalm 19. Verse 14, very familiar scripture. It says, let the words of my mouth, are we stewarding our words well? And the meditation of my heart, what are our thoughts like? Are we stewarding our thoughts? Are we thinking on things that are lovely, that are of a good report? 
So let the words of my mouth and let the meditation of my heart be acceptable. We want our everyday lives to be acceptable in God's sight. So let the words of my mouth and let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Last time I was on here, I talked about strength. God being our strength, us being strong in the Lord. Um, The second scripture is Galatians 6 and 9. And it says, let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. In due season, in due time. I know sometimes we can feel like we're doing all the good in the world and ain't nothing good coming back to us. But that's a lie. Good is coming back to us. God is watching us. He's watching what we do. And he's taking account of it. So don't be weary in doing well. Don't be weary in making sure that your priorities line up with his word and with he and with what he wants for your life. And then the last scripture is Matthew 25, 23. His master replied, now this is life goals for me. <laughs> this is end goal. Uh, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. I don't know about anybody else, (laughs) but that is the end goal. I can go through pain, heartache, uh, discrimination, people doing crazy stuff, uh, backstabbers, all of that. But my end goal is to hear well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. And so the master says, I will put you in charge of many things. So here on earth, you may feel like what you have is little. You may say, I have little money. I have little time. I have little resources. I don't have a lot to give. But with that little that you have, it's a lot when you give it to God, when you let him multiply it. He's a multiplier. So even if you feel like you have little, give it to him and he will multiply it and actually blow your mind. (laughs) But he says, if you're faithful over a few things, I will put you in charge. Yes, yes, Shantini, well done. If you are faithful over a few things, I will put you in charge of many things. God wants to see how responsible you are with the little that you have so that he can increase you in larger territory. And then the last says, come and share in the master's happiness. God wants us to share in his happiness. He wants us to share in his joy. The amazing thing about priorities and about being a human on this earth and being a Christ follower is that we have stability in Christ. The world is going crazy with their own ideas, their own agendas, their own plans. But we have access to the stability that is available in Christ. Even through uncertainty of this life, because at times things can be real shaky and real uncertain, but we have an anchor. I'll say it again. We have an anchor. We have a solid rock and we have a God who is the beginning and the end. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything. And we serve that God. So we have access to the stability that is in him. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the one to trust. I'll say that again. God is the one to trust. Go ahead and type that in the comments. God is the one to trust. (laughs) And so because he is the one to trust, we need to make sure that our priorities line up with the one that we trust. So again, today, I just wanted to remind you all about our priorities and making sure that we have them in the order that God desires. God, we thank you today, Jesus. God, we honor your name, God. You are worthy of glory. You are worthy of honor, God. You reign forever, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are a solid rock. We thank you, God, that you are a solid foundation. 
We thank you, God, that when everything else shakes in our life, God, you are our strong tower that we can lean in and lean on, God. We thank you, God, that our confidence is in you. Our confidence is not in man. Our confidence is not in what man can do for us, God, but our confidence is in you, God. We thank you, God, that you have chosen us and that you have called us, God. And with everything that you have put in our care, God, we ask, Lord God, that you would help us to line up our priorities according to your word. Help us to line up our lives according to your word, according to how you want us to live, God. We want to live our lives according to your standards, not the standards of this world. This world will mess you up if you live according to the standards of the world, God. But we thank you, God, that we have a manual called the Bible that we can go to, Lord God, and that we can search out and that we can line up our lives, our words, our ways, the way we build our families, God the way we build up our children, God, we can line it up according to your word, God, and it will be a sure thing. It will be a sure foundation. Even when the earthquakes come, God, even when the tornadoes come, God, even when the hurricanes of life come, God, we can be sure, God, that we can stand on your firm foundation. God, you know our endings from our beginnings, God. You know everything, God. So we trust in you. We trust in the way, Lord God, that you have told us to line up our lives, God. We want your will, not our will, God. It's so easy to fall into what we want and to our will, God, but we lay our wills down, God, and we take up our crosses and we follow you. We follow what you say, God. We follow your promises, God. We follow your way, God. Help us not to become weary, Hallelujah, in doing good. Help us not to become weary, Lord God, in in following you. Help us not to become weary, Lord God, in helping others. Help us not to become weary, Lord God, in doing our best to be lights in this dark world and in in this dark age. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, to be good stewards over everything that you've given us, God. Lord God, help us to let go, Lord God, even of those things that we have lost or those things that you have taken away from us, God. Help us not to walk in guilt. Help us not to walk in shame, God. But when you give us the new, when you give us the fresh, God, help us, Lord God, to dedicate it back to you. Help us, Lord God, to build upon the solid foundation that is you. In the name of Jesus, God, if there have been times in our life, in all of our lives, where we have messed up or where we have Uh, done things that we should not have done, God. We ask even now for forgiveness, God, and we ask, Lord God, that the shame and the guilt be gone in the name of Jesus. We don't walk in guilt. We don't walk in shame, but we walk in freedom. We walk in truth. We walk in your joy, God. We walk in your peace today. Hallelujah. Help us to keep our priorities lined up with you. In the name of Jesus, God, help us to be good stewards over all things that you have given us, God. Hallelujah. Help us to be witnesses in the earth, God. Help us, Lord God, to be good stewards of the light, Lord God, that you have given us to carry. We don't know who's watching us, God. We don't know who is inspired by us or who is encouraged by our lives. So help us, God, to be good stewards over everything that you've given us, God. And as I said, even if we have messed up some things along the way, God, I ask even now for your forgiveness. I ask even now that your blood would cover it. And we know that it's already covered by the blood. It's already covered by the blood. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. It's already covered by the blood, God. We thank you for your blood. We thank you, God, for your sacrifice, God. Without the blood, we wouldn't have hope. Without the blood, we wouldn't have salvation, God. So today, we thank you that your blood covers all. Hallelujah. We thank you that your blood covers all, God. We trust you. We trust you with our lives, God. We trust you with our resources, God. We trust you with everything that you have given us, God, and we give it back to you, God, freely. 
the Bible says, Lord God, that we are to be cheerful givers, God. So help us to give back cheerfully, God. Give back of our time. Give back of our money. Give back, Lord God, of words of wisdom to those who need it. God, help us to just be cheerful, Lord God, in in giving back. Help us not to be disgruntled, Lord God, or feel like we want to hoard what you have given us, God, but help us to give it freely and cheerfully. God, we thank you today that you have given us wisdom. You said, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives. Lord God, so we thank you for the wisdom that you have given us in this life, God. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you, God. Even now where you are, just give God the fruit of your lips today. Just give him a praise if you're able to. If you are in a place where it's quiet, where you can just honor God and just give him your priorities. Give him uh, all the responsibilities that you have. Lay them at his feet and ask God to line them up as he sees fit. To order your life, to order your steps. We want God to order our steps, God. We thank you. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for ordered steps today, God. Our lives are not our own. Our lives belong to you. And today and every day, God, we say yes to you. We say yes to your will. And we say yes to your way. We say yes to your will, and we say yes to your way, Jesus. And we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Um, If you're able to type, just say yes. We say yes to your will, and we say yes to your way. Sometimes it's good to type things out or verbalize things. The kingdom is voice activated. So as an act of faith, Just type out yes to your will and yes to your way as a surrender, because today we talked about priorities. We talked about giving God what we have back to him, dedicating it back to him. So we say yes to your will and we say yes to your way. Yes. Thank you, Evangelist Yolanda. Thank you, Minister Valerie. Thank you, Shantini. Yes, we say yes. Yes, Leah. And carry that yes with you. Yes, Tracy. Carry that yes with you throughout the day today. Keep that yes in your spirit. Yes, Derry. Let it carry you throughout your day. And when, I'll just be blunt, when crazy stuff happens today or the days to come, just remember that you gave God your yes. Let that be your reminder of the dedication that you have to God, that you said yes, no matter what. Because your yes will be challenged. Believe you me. (laughs) If I can let y'all in on how much a yes will be challenged, (laughs) it will be challenged. But we have God on our side. If he is for us, even if the whole world is against us, we straight, we good. (laughs) So give God that yes and continue to carry that yes in your spirit no matter what comes up it may feel like you're losing but always remember that God is working in the background he's working things out that you can't see so that's where our faith and our trust and our reliance on him has to come in so God bless you all um I hope that you have an amazing day I know y'all can see that it's raining here in Michigan but that's okay I hear the sound of an abundance of rain so I'm gonna take that (laughs) that God is reigning in our lives today. So God bless you all. I love you all. And I pray that you have an amazing day. All right. Bye.